now we have seen the kind of effort that has been put it put in into uh, into uh, in, in put in uh, doing this by the first principle method we'll not follow this and we'll try to apply the gauss's theorem into that but for that you'll have to understand one thing the symmetry of this Okay, let us try to understand the symmetry of the whole thing. What happens is if I take this, okay, if I take this above this point or below this point at the same distance, okay at the same distance what do you think should happen if at the same distance instead of being here i am here i am here i am here then what happens what should happen according to you see here above this point there was infinite length of, of wire below this point there was infinite length of wire the same is the case here there is infinite length of wire above it the infinite length of wire below it number one okay now so if I am standing here, I, I, I can forward this logic also. I can forward this logic that the vertical components will, will cancel because for every, every element above it, there is a corresponding element below it. Okay. There is a corresponding element below it. So, so it will cancel. So, so what happens if it cancels, what happens? So, so I'm standing here, I'm seeing above me there is an infinite length of wire, below me there is infinite length of wire. Now, if I say at this point, the field is bent like this, then the question comes, why? What is there above it that makes it bend towards that, which is not below it? Because what happens from here, if you look above, look below, it's all, all the same. The, the length of the wire you see, see is infinite there. You, you see it infinite there. Correct. You understand? Now what happens? If that is the case, if that is the case, then wh why should it bend there? Why not here? And if I bend it below, then why below, why not above? What will be the direction of the field? I'm trying to... That's what. So, it, if it does not bend in any direction, it has to be like this. You understand? You understand? Hmm? So, the first thing is the field is radially outward. However, I can give this argument in favor of that. Right. So I have, that's why I have not erased it. So, so till here, thus we are left only with the horizontal component of the field. The, for the magnitude, I'll now be using the Gauss's law. You understand? So till here, our argument is the same. You could also give the other argument saying, the other argument saying that that above it and below it there is the same length of okay there is the same length of wire so there is no reason why it should be bending above or below hence it will be pointing radially outward though that looks less scientific but 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 if you understand the common sense behind it then then 
it is okay it is a it is a good argument okay so or if not then you can give this argument so so i say another argument is above and below the point p we see we see an infinite length of wire infinite length of wire the field can't bend up or down because because of the symmetry above and below the point hence the field is radially outward it is radially outward okay now try to i am giving giving so so this is another argument in lieu of whatever i have written right you understand that in lieu of whatever we have said in in the black i can give another argument like this okay now i say since the magnitude of the field remains the same now now what do you feel i am standing here the total field that i experience here see it i am standing at p and i see the total total field in this direction or i stand at say say t and see the field in this direction do you feel they'll be different no why because there is a cylindrical symmetry how do you know there is a cylindrical symmetry you close your eyes looking at the wire and let there be no reference point behind so let us say you're standing in a clear sky no no clouds no reference points right and at the same distance i move you a meter above it will you be able to tell me that you have been moved looking at the position of the wire no why because you see the distance the same you look down you see the same length of wire you see you look up you see the same length of wire so so you'll not be able to know the difference now this is a very powerful concept in the sense that if you cannot make out the difference the electric field also will not be able to make out the difference it sounds weird but it is not weird why because whatever is happening here is due to the distance from the wire and the length of wire above and below me and if they do not change if they do not change then nothing changes by way of their impact as well it looks a very very unscientific unmathematical concept but it is not so okay okay so the same 
when we are shifted above or below the point p keeping the distance the same since the magnitude of the field remains the same when we are shifted above or below the point p keeping the distance the same correct the system has a cylindrical symmetry this because at point p the distance remains the same 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 and the length of wire above and below it also remain the same okay they also remain the same so this thing has to be established that here we have a cylindrical symmetry now the moment you know that this there is a cylindrical symmetry you immediately draw a cylinder with radius r and length l whatever is that length right so what do we do we draw a cylinder around this at this length 